Vehicle windscreens should only ever be replaced by trained specialists. Cleanliness and precision are essential, which is why it's important to follow the proper work procedure and to use the appropriate materials correctly. We'll show you what to pay particular attention to and what precautions to take when replacing windscreens. First, remove the trim, seals and wipers in accordance with the vehicle manufacturer's instructions. Then, cut out the damaged windscreen using a cutting wire or a special work knife. Use suction lifters to remove the damaged windscreen. Before cleaning the new windscreen, it's a good idea to test that it fits properly and to inspect it for any defects. Now, insert the spacers and use tape to mark the correct position of the windscreen. Once the damaged windscreen has been removed, it's time to carefully prepare the new one. This includes ensuring that the windscreen and bodywork surfaces to be bonded are absolutely clean. Clean the new windscreen using a tested ammonia-free glass cleaner. Use a Dinitol Special Cleaner to thoroughly clean the surface of the new windscreen in order to remove stubborn stains on the glass surfaces and on the frit. After cleaning it, let it air for 5 minutes. Next, apply a Dinitol Primer or Activator to facilitate adhesion. This must be shaken thoroughly beforehand. Do so for around a minute. Then, using a wool dauber or straight from the tube, apply a single layer of the primer evenly to the clean surface and leave it to air for at least 5 minutes. It's important also to clean the flange area on the bodywork thoroughly before trimming the excess bead on the flange. Make sure you do not get any windscreen cleaner on the newly trimmed bead. After cleaning the flange, allow it to air for a moment. Use a degreased blade to trim the remaining bead to around 1 to 2 millimeters and keep it clean. What's left of the trim bead is now an ideal surface for adhesion. However, bear in mind that the cut surface must not be treated with adhesive cleaner or similar agents. If the trimmed bead is left exposed for more than 4 hours, it must be cleaned with a Dinitol Special Cleaner. If left exposed for more than 12 hours, the bead must also be activated with a Dinitol reactivator and left to air for 10 to 15 minutes. Paint damage in the flange area can be repaired with a Dinitol primer. Once again, please don't forget to shake well beforehand. Afterwards, allow it to air for at least 5 minutes. Once all of the parts have been prepared and treated in accordance with the instructions, they need to be fitted precisely. The first step is to correctly apply the adhesive to the windscreen. Next, apply Dinitol windscreen adhesive as a triangular bead either to the windscreen, the body flange or the newly trimmed bead. To do this, make sure that you cut the nozzle into a triangular shape according to the vehicle manufacturer's instructions. Lay the new windscreen within the adhesive's open time using the tape to position it. Then, fit all of the other components such as the trim strips and the windscreen wipers. And we're done! The new windscreen has been fitted perfectly and securely. Depending on what materials have been used, the vehicle will be roadworthy again after one to three hours. So, with that, safe driving! Dinitrol, the quality solution.